On three through five, you're describing the effect on the parent function. Make sure you use correct terminology. Um, so I'm going to start by looking left to right at the equation, and the very first thing I'm going to look for is a negative sign, which this one has. If there's a negative in front, that means a reflection has occurred. So we do have a reflection on number three. The next thing I'm going to do is um, look and see if there's a number in front of the X that's not a 1. If it's a 1, then um, this effect has not occurred. But since we have a number in front of X that's not 1, it's a 3, then we're either going to say a stretch or a compression has occurred. If this number is bigger than 1, which 3 is, then we have a stretch. If it's a uh, fraction or decimal between 0 and 1, it would be a compression. The next thing I'm going to do is look in the parentheses. Um, the parentheses tells me the translation left or right. And so we do have a translation here. Remember the sign um, does not tell the truth about the direction though. So you might think that's um, translating to the right, but it's actually a translation to the left. So we're translating left to units. If you don't have a number in the parentheses, then you did not have a left to right translation. And then finally, the number at the end that's either added or subtraction, um, added or subtracted is also a translation, but that's an up and down translation. The sign tells you exactly which direction it's going, so the minus 1 tells us we translated down one unit.